Kevin, as a team, you guys shoot a little over 40% from the floor. Was it anything defensively that Atlanta was doing to kind of disrupt the team flow on the offensive end, or did, do you feel like it just came down to missing shots? Um, uh, they just, they made some adjustments for sure in the pick and roll. Um, was a little bit more aggressive and, and, uh, and low to the ball, um, especially when Kyrie and myself had it um, out top, <clears throat> which is a good adjustment. I mean, it's, I, I picture a lot of teams are going to start to do that. Um, but, you know, we also missed shots and we had some good looks, but, you know, it was one of those nights. I said uh, six points off of uh, Atlanta turnovers tonight. How does that impact offensive flow if you if you can't get running in transition? Yeah, if we, I mean, especially when you get down double digits and you know those deflections out to steals and layups gives good momentum and kind of change the course of the game. But we didn't get any of those today. You got to credit them for keeping the ball in their hands and finding something uh, on our defense that worked. You know, I felt like they stayed in that pick and roll all night and was able to keep the ball in their hands and get a good shot up every time. Brian Lewis, New York Post. I think eventually the assumption is that the shots are going to fall for you guys. But in a way, is the defense a little bit even more irritating? Yeah, I mean, we can't rely on us just making shots. You know, um, Jeff, Jeff Green said that in the locker room. And I totally agree. I mean, we're going to have days where guys ain't going to make shots, but we got to hang our hat on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, every team says that. Every basketball team in the world says that. <laughs> um, but it's, it's easier said than done. And, but I think if we stay conscious of that, um, you know, we'll get better.